BMW's 8 Series Convertible is a properly desirable luxury GT Cabrio that's more affordable both to buy and to run than its closest rivals, Cabriolet versions of the Mercedes S-Class and Porsche's 911. It may not be an out-and-out -out sports car, but it's the finest open-top contender of this kind that the Munich Mark has yet made. If every BMW is still to be the ultimate driving machine promised by the advertising, then that slogan must mean many things. Sharp, rewarding handling for most is what this brand is all about. But in some market segments, other virtues are just as important. Take upmarket large luxury convertibles, cars like uh, Mercedes S-Class Cabriolet and the Porsche 911 Cabriolet. They're all about grand touring fast, stylish cruising, something BMW has more experience in providing than you might expect, with a product heritage in such cars stretching all the way back to the 327 sports convertible of the late 30s, and all the way forward to this car, the 8 Series Convertible. This model's predecessor, the 6 Series Convertible, was a relatively rare sight on British roads. Despite a hefty price tag, it offered performance, rear seat room and boot space all little better than a BMW 4 Series Convertible costing half as much. It was a car that sold on cachet and that wasn't enough to tempt significant numbers of wealthy buyers from their Mercedes, Jaguar and Porsche models. This 8 Series design, though, is a different proposition, and here we're going to try it in its fastest and most desirable M8 competition form. At the end of a day spent in pursuit of the kinds of business that make possible the purchase of a car like this, You'd want to be rewarded on your way home by a gloriously emotive soundtrack when you fire the engine and push out through the traffic. And that's certainly delivered here, along with an alfresco driving experience, free as you would expect from all the roof down buffeting and body shake that you'd get in a cheaper convertible. Which means that you'll be tempted to drive with the roof lowered more of the time. Uh, although, should uh, the rain come, the roof can be uh, erected in just 15 seconds at speeds of up to 31 miles an hour. With the roof closed like this, you're cocooned in a cabin almost as refined as that you'd find in the alternative coupe and four-door grand coupe models that BMW also offers in the 8 Series range. Unfortunately, as with those cars, the ride here is somewhat firmer than some will want. Obviously, this being a convertible, you're going to be looking for excuses at every opportunity to uh, retract the roof again, which can be done just as quickly as it's raised. And of course it's fast, even in the base 340 horsepower 840i S-Drive rear driven version, 62 miles an hour from rest takes just 5.3 seconds. In the 320 horsepower X-Drive 840d diesel variant it's just 5.2 seconds, with both figures achieved on the way to a top speed that would be well into the lock you up and throw away the key area of license confiscation were it not for a limiter that cuts in at 155 miles an hour. Otherwise this is a car that comes with a 4.4 litre twin turbo petrol V8 developing either 530 horsepower in the M50i or a stonking 625 horsepower in the top M8 competition variant that we're trying here. All the power plants on offer are torquey with more than enough pulling power to make unnecessary as many as 8 ratios in the ZF automatic gearbox. Use them and you can access performance that in the case of the M850i will catapult you from rest to 62 miles an hour in a Porsche worrying 3.9 seconds. The M8 competition variant that we're trying here trims that to just 3.3 seconds. Toupees will need to be very firmly tied down. As you might expect, the dimensions of this 8 Series convertible body style match those of the 8 Series coupe almost exactly. More of a surprise is that the weight of this open top variant isn't very much different either. 
a focus on body rigidity in the development of the 8 Series platform with its carbon core meant that only a small number of additional cabrio-specific and weight-increasing measures were required for this convertible design. Precise character lines trace the path of the airflow between the front and the rear wheels, while tapered surfaces around the front arches and the doors spread out at the top of the rear wheels. The seating position is notably low and you're surrounded by a cabin that's high in quality, but perhaps lacking a little in terms of sheer specialness. Adding in little touches like the crafted clarity glass finishing for various controls certainly helps quite a lot here. It's hard to fault the digital screen technology delivered by the standard live cockpit professional package that combines this 12.3 inch digital instrument cluster display with a 10.25 inch center dash infotainment monitor. All of it accessible via touchscreen, the usual lower iDrive touch controller or voice control. And you're perfectly positioned in front of it all by brilliantly supportive multifunctional sports seats trimmed in stitched merino leather that extends up onto the dash. As with the coupe version of this design, there's very little back seat space. Despite this car's near five meter long body length, there'll be almost no legroom on offer if the driver ahead of you is more than average height. And when the roof's up, headroom's not much better either. Small children will be okay back here, but otherwise, a little disappointingly, these pews are strictly for jackets and designer shopping bags. A wind deflector is standard. This can be set up in the rear seat area to reduce turbulence when the roof is down. When not required, it can be folded to half its size and stowed in the boot. Neck warmers integrated in the front seat head restraints are also standard. The cloth roof is lightweight and provides superb acoustic insulation when closed. It sits taut over the interior, thus retaining its coupe-like silhouette without compromising on design. And you can open it via the key fob. Still, on the plus side, you don't suffer too much in terms of reduced boot capacity over the coupe variant. Or at least you don't when the roof's closed like this. The powered lid rises to reveal a space 350 litres in size. Now that's just 70 litres less than you'd get in the fixed top model. And certainly enough for your golf clubs and the grandchildren's buggies. Uh, now it's not so clever when the roof's open. The folded fabric stored in a cartridge in the boot ceiling, which uh, reduces capacity to just 280 litres. Regardless of the position of the roof, uh, you've got the opportunity to uh, take long items by pushing forward uh, the rear backrest, which split at 50-50. At the time of this test, in early 2020, pricing started at around £79,000 for the 340 horsepower 840i S-Drive, rising to around £83,500 for the 320 horsepower diesel 840D X-Drive, around £107,000 for the 530 horsepower M850i X-Drive, and around £131,000 for this 625 horsepower M8 competition version. Expect all the usual executive luxuries, of course, uh, leather upholstery and the BMW Live Cockpit Professional Package, which gives you a 12.3 inch instrument binnacle dial display and a 10.25 inch center dash infotainment touchscreen. All eight series convertible models get X-Drive four wheel drive, adaptive M suspension, and something called integral active steering, which turns the rear wheels in either the same direction as the front wheels as you turn, or the opposite direction, depending on vehicle speed. Now this allows for effortless lane changes, it helps you dart through city traffic, and it facilitates a tighter turning circle with easier parking. Plus, there's an M Sport braking system, and you get the Sport version of BMW's smooth shifting eight speed automatic paddle shift transmission, which means that launch control is standard. Yeah. 
Just because you're spending 85,000 to 130,000 pounds on your luxury convertible, it doesn't mean that you'll be paying through the nose to keep it on the road. The 840D X-Drive diesel actually manages 39.8 uh, miles to the gallon on the WLTP combined cycle and 161 grams per kilometer of any DC rated CO2. For the 840i S-Drive petrol, the figures are up to 33.2 miles to the gallon and 168 grams per kilometer. Even the M850i with its turbocharged petrol V8 is capable of up to 24.8 miles to the gallon on the WLTP cycle and combined NEDC CO2 emissions of 228 grams per kilometer. For this M8 competition derivative, the stats are 25.2 miles to the gallon and 246 grams per kilometer. Routine maintenance is dictated by condition-based servicing that monitors oil level and engine wear, taking into account how long it's been and how far the car has travelled since its previous garage visit. To help plan ahead for the cost of regular work, at point of purchase you'll be offered a BMW service inclusive package that lasts for 3 years and 36,000 miles. With this, after a one-off payment, you'll have the peace of mind of knowing that all normal work on the car has been paid for during this period, including items such as oil, spark plugs and filters. You can also insure your car with BMW, though as most M8s will be funded with company money through a lease deal, it's usual that brokerage fees will be incorporated into that. There are only two ways we could really imagine anyone being disappointed by this BMW. If you expect it to be an out and out sports car or if you can't afford it. The first is unrealistic. Buy a car of this kind and you're buying a Grand Tourer. That's what the target market wants. And this 8 Series is very good indeed at GT motoring. Yet at the same time, significantly more dynamically able than its 6 Series predecessor, if you should want to start throwing it about. As for the prices, well yes they're high, but realistically you can't really have any complaints about that either, given that rival brands are asking similar sums. Bigger, faster and sleeker than any of its predecessors, for us this is the most desirable convertible the Bavarian brand has ever made. A car capable of seriously worrying a comparable Porsche, Mercedes or Maserati? You'd better believe it.